Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name's Tyrone. Yes, that you knew that already. This is a roll of dice. Uh, a little bit of a backstory. It's slightly... Uh, I'm not sure if I should tell you, but here we are. Uh, I just did a roll of the dice, actually. Um, it was yesterday? It was yesterday. Gee whiz. Uh, this came in the very next day. Um, oh well, I'll, I'll tell you. It came in from Victoria. The seller was um, pretty good. Pretty good communication, all on social media. Um, don't know the seller, haven't met him or her. Uh, I think it was a he. Can't remember. It was on the seller's thing, but I taped it over so we can't see. Anyway, that's private. Um, the reason why it's a little bit embarrassing is because I bought this entire box for one piece. Here's the backstory. We'll get on with the show very soon, I promise. I want to do a full review of this particular catalogue. And I was missing one. I won't bother with these. Um, I have replicas of some of these, which is odd. Um, this is one of my originals, 25 cents. And uh, I have been looking for one of these. Can the camera pick that up? Yes. I can't find a stand like that. Wouldn't it be great to do a peg hunt with a stand full of stuff from 1983-84? Um, one vehicle has stopped me from doing this, and I think it's in this box. So I paid $69.30 with postage. Postage is $9.30. So the whole shebang was $60. Uh, I won't post this video just yet because I'll, um, we need variety, don't we? That's the little bugger. It's number 49, the crane truck. Thought I had it, don't have it. It may be in the box. Everything else I think I have, and I'll show you um, when I get round to doing an hour long video. All right, backstory out of the way 60 bucks, 69.30 with postage. Let's see what else is in here. It's quite heavy, um, there's a lot of Lucy's. The reason why it's a little bit out there, even for my standards, is there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm not necessarily after, but the deal was, uh, if you want them, buy them. Don't mess me around with one piece. So, all right, we'll do that. So, hence, I have things um, I wasn't angling for, and there might be a bonus Land Cruiser in there, but we'll see. I think I already have it. Um, I have the one I think it is next to me. I've teased you enough, let's get on with the show. Um, there are a few matchbox in here, but there's a few of everything in here by the looks. Uh, didn't really um, discuss much of the others with the seller. I was just interested in the crane for the benefit... Oh, there's a majorette. For the benefit of um, finishing everything in that catalogue, so... Uh, We'll see. This is uh, peculiar, isn't it? They did the wheels so wide, and it was for racing. It's for going on those plastic tracks to um, open a can of whoop house on the competitors. The engine bay is there. Imagine if you pulled into a garage for servicing and uh, the mechanic opened the bonnet and looked at that. I wonder what he'd say to you. I think it's fried, mate. What is that? That looks like the General Lee, doesn't it? It's a Dodge Charger. Who? Maisto. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Not something I collect, but it's cool to have. Um, I'll tease you a little bit. Oh, it's a Matchbox channel, so I'll show you a Matchbox. I think there's a non-Matchbox in there as well. Use a wrapped OK. I always 
freak out when they're jammed together, but these have been separated by the bubble wrap, which is fantastic. At a glance, they look very similar, but this one is what? It's a Hot Wheels 2010 Camaro. Ooh, what's going on in there? Hmm. That looked quite weird, didn't it? Yeah, bit of packing goo. Looked like a ghost. Hmm. I don't see a lot of Hot Wheels, apart from on the pegs in Kmart. Oh, there's, there's a bit of debris coming out of this box, and this looks familiar. I do collect this one. Have not seen that colour before. That's the Mustang um, GT Concept in a lovely gold. I've got uh, a few colours of this in that red. Uh, detail for the tail lights looks a bit weird on some colors, but this one it blends in really nicely. So that's nice to have. And um, I'm purposely teasing you with this Toyota because <laughs> I'm building some suspense, don't you know? That's how you do it. What have we got here? These, yeah, these are separated by bubble wrap, so that's nice. That looks like another Hot Wheels, and this looks heavier, but we'll get to the Hot Wheels first if it is. Camera just died, but uh, we're back now. Um, this is a Hot Wheels. I wasn't sure if it was, but it is. And uh, do we have? Oh, no, not even gonna bother with that. Should have checked it out off camera, although I was messing around with the battery. But uh, <laughs> another charger, they're both chargers, aren't they? Yeah, this one's obviously a more expensive brand. Green light. I think I have a blue one of these. That's from Bullet, isn't it, the black one? This is very cold metal on a cold day, and I'm a bit steamed up from all my coffee, so my fingerprints are getting all over the black car. Um, I've held out long enough. Let's get to some matchbox. I took the time while the camera was off to have a good old sneeze, so... <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Oh, you didn't hear it, so lucky you. Um, Clearly Matchbox, Buick LeSabre, it's racing, that's really good nick. The photos I sent did not appear great, but that's in really good nick. Got a knocked about version of this, so that'll slot in quite nicely. Not sure if that base is supposed to be white white, but... What, 35 odd years have passed, I think. So that's nice. Now... The real mystery for me, oh, it's got a chip on it, that's right. Is that a new colour? Or is it just a colour? Mm, you wouldn't call it variation, would you, if it's supposed to be the same colour? Mmm. Interesting. It'll be the same, same base, I think. Yep. From what I can see. Hmm. Maybe it's just a different batch. Curious. Can't find a single difference apart from the shade of colour. I wonder if the camera is picking that up. It seems to be. First time I looked through the viewfinder all day. Hmm. Don't know. I'll hang on to them both until I know more. Um, one more before we get to my crane. Let's see, done. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's no cars touching each other, which is great. A couple of Mustangs. Uh, these must be out of the bullet. It's intentionally messed up. I don't think the Mustang got that dirty in the car chase, if that's what they're uh, yeah, referring to. Was that a twin pack? Do you know? I didn't see it. But, uh, maybe. This looks more like, like a barn find, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it's saying the GT Bullet there. So uh, maybe that's a reference to the movie. Maybe I'm just reading into it. That one slammed into a petrol station or something, didn't it? And blew up. 
It's the greatest car chase on earth, apparently, until they did something better. They always do something better in Hollywood. Oh, I forgot to show you this one. Um, it's another green light. And that's the 1967 Shelby GT500. It's a nice racing livery. The go faster stripes. It's nice. They're basically the same car in there. Kind of. Tail lights are different. But yeah, it looks great. But what I'm here for, the one and only casting that was holding me up from doing my um, catalogue review video. Check it out in a cinema near you, or an iPad near you, whatever you're using. Number 49 of um, 8384, supposedly. Maybe it came out in different years. I knew this box was open before I bought it. Let's hope it's in perfect shape. There won't be any boxes in the review. I won't have time for that. If I show you 75 cars, it's going to be quick draw all the way. And uh, we'll get to that page. Go downstairs so you can see what I'm yapping about. Um, I think it's towards the back of the 75, wasn't it? Where are you? Show yourself. There he is. Okay, is that the same? So it's got A1 crane service. It's slightly hidden by that cab up there. And then it's got the cat on the door. Yeah, green windows. Same wheels, five arch wheels, yeah, red hook, sweet. And that's what I paid $69.30 for, folks. But I've got a bunch of other cars too, so wonderful, awesome. The last piece of the 75. Ah, I'm happy. Uh, what do you think? Did I get a bargain? That wasn't part of it, that was mine already. So I'll take that out of the shot. Yeah, I reckon I got a good deal. It's random how things turn up here. Um, if that's a color variant, fantastic. Never had that one. Wasn't looking for it in this, was looking for that, but terrific. Um, my battered up Buick gets an upgrade. Well, gets turfed out, actually. But um, funky bullet cars and a few Hot Wheels to boot, a Maestro over the back, and a Majorette. Strange day. Awesome. Um, I hope you enjoyed the show. I really enjoy bringing these to you, and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing the the big old collection review from many moons ago. Fantastic. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.